Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Moments away, it'll be the Phoenix Suns going up against the Los Angeles Clippers. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Bradley Beal. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, no, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Here are the five for the Clippers. Filling the two and three, the core of George and Leonard. Only out there with Marcus Morris, and it's Westbrook in at the point. And for the Suns, the big three for the Suns all on the floor. Booker and Beal is the guards, and KD at the four. Then it's DeAndre Ayton, and it's Watanabe in at the three slot. Well, certainly some names on the floor, Greg, that we've seen in the NBA for many years. That in consideration, what kind of game can we expect with the grizzled group on the floor? And, and Kevin, these types of games tend to be kind of methodical. The vets aren't afraid to give the ball up for a better look, and we should see a clean game here tonight. The shot's good. Well, a guard has got to come with physical intensity on the interior, and Devin Booker does just that. Westbrook passes to Plumley. He dishes it to George. Pass to Westbrook. Outside Leonard. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's George. Rebound by the Suns. Booker in the game against New Orleans. Very impressive. And it's Paul George with the foul. That's his first foul. It's stolen by Morris. To the paint. And it's Leonard missing. Booker against Westbrook. And Booker kicks to Beal. From deep, cranes the three-pointer. Well, some guys over the course of their career just keep developing. And Bradley Beal came in as a sweet shooter, and he continues to do it. Plumlee with a screen on Booker. Outside Leonard. Shot clock at six. There's the dish to George. Over Beal, and there's George. That's good on the assist by Leonard. Now, this is a reliable aspect of Paul George's game. That in-between jumper is pure. Looker the pass to Beal. KD on the wing. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. There's the pass to Watanabe. Now here's Beal. Trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Beal's got five points so far. Very hard to distract Bradley Beal on the way up. Just tremendous concentration through contact. Here's George. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Here's Watanabe. He had 15 points last out. Durant inside. He's against Morris. Misses the baby hook. The Clippers shooting their first foul shot of the night. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. At the line for one. That free throw good from Leonard. Last season, GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal, it's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. A drive by Booker. Pass to Aiden. 
Morris against KD. Aiden inside. Goes back up. Outside for Beal. Westbrook against Booker. KD sets the pick for Booker. And another shot. A nice shot by KD. And he gets one to fall. And now one out of his first four. Clippers trail by four. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And it's Leonard missing. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And Booker kicks to Beal. Pass to KD. Feeds it to Booker. Passes it to Watsonabe. Four on the shot clock. KD with the bucket. KD's got his second basket. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this thing. Here's Leonard. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And over the years, we have seen Kawhi Leonard continue doors to battle through injuries. Kevin, he has been a hot topic as it relates to that loaded word, load management. But we have to be fair. Kawhi has had a number of leg and knee issues. There is a certain amount of caution you want to take where his body is concerned. Hits them both. And late in the regular season, Greg, in your decade plus in the NBA, you were looking forward to the playoffs more often than not. And as a player, you have to avoid that temptation to look ahead. But when you do, much nicer to look forward to the playoffs than vacation. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Guys, you love the patience when Bradley Beal is running the pick and roll. Doesn't rush, plays at his own pace. Westbrook passes to Leonard. Takes the three. Good on the three-point shot. Leonard. Leonard's got six. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here's George. What a tremendous game he played against Cleveland. Well, there you see Paul George as a facilitator. He can create his own, or he can get somebody else open. Suns leading by three. Booker with it. Westbrook picks him up. Beal. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Here's George. The quick look no good that time. Suns have gone 7 of 11 for the field to begin the game. Booker the pass to Durant. Over Morris. No good from Durant. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Incredible wingspan, unbelievable hands. The alley-oop is easy. Aiton against Plumley. Aiton a screen on Morris. Katie drives in. And it's keeping it alive with a new 14. Watsonabe, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Now the pass to Leonard. Six to shoot. Here's Plumley, and that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Deal against George. Outside Durant. Pass to Aiden. Back to Durant. This one for three. Gets that one to drop. That's his third field goal and eight tries. Confidence of Kevin Durant. He gets it and takes the shot. Very simple. Catch and shoot, baby. Here's Leonard. Phoenix grabs the miss. Aiton's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Durant kicks to Aiton. Outside Beal. 
Aiton a screen on George. Makes it out to Booker. Zanabe passes to Villa. With the drive, and the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. The story from beyond the arc. Here's who's leading in that category across the NBA. Bradley Beal is second. Fourth, Devin Booker. Either of these two guys force defenders to come out well past that three-point line. And that really opens the floor up for their entire offense. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Bowl, he's checked in for Watsonabe. And it's John Wall in for Bradley Beal. Norman Bowles checked in for Los Angeles. Westbrook, no good. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Outside, Wall. Katie on the wing. Aiton sets the pick for Durant. It's rebounded by Leonard. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Westbrook against Wall. And again, no good by the Clippers. A fadeaway, not a terrible idea, but he needs to make the game easier on himself. He's overcomplicating things. Leonard against Booker. Outside, Wall. Outside, Durant. Bowl up top over Plumley. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. It just seemed like they were out of sync and, and waited way too long. Westbrook dishes to Morris. Down low. That's good from Booker on the assist by Aiton. Booker's got six. Well, with that size and strength for a two-guard, Booker is a legitimate threat even in traffic. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. For the Clippers, Zubats is checked in for Plum. Martin comes in for Morris. Man subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And so Powell will bring it up for Los Angeles. Six-point game. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. Yeah, and, and in that game, you see how they built out this roster. Acquiring role players who can step up when needed. And that's exactly what happened. Guys came off the bench ready to play. The offense didn't miss a beat. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Eubanks comes in for Aiton. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Kevin Durant. Here's Mann. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Zubats. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. Now this is where Zubats most comfortable. Good work on the interior right there. And the rejection by Zubats. Here's Bull. No good from outside. Clippers trail by four. Powell in the high post over Booker, and that one goes long. Defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Eubanks, the layup missed. Los Angeles has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And finished off by Leonard. Uh, Kawhi Leonard decides to flash that explosive athleticism. This guy worked so hard on both his body and his craft. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. The Clippers shooting 39% in the early two minutes, minutes of this game. The first two minutes. Powell in the high post. Working on Booker. Powell the pass to Martin. No good. That would have tied it. Phoenix has gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. And load management. A term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy for the postseason. Suns lead by four. Booker the pass to Eubanks. Outside, Beal. Ice ball movement by Phoenix. Left side, Wall. 
Leonard with the steal. Passes it to Mann. Always going up for the alley oop here. And finished off by Martin. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Booker dishes to Beal. And the rejection by Zubats. How about Zubats? Works so hard on the defensive end. Nicely done. Well, Phoenix shooting 43% since taking the floor today. Outside, wall. Ball a screen on Martin. Ball with it. Leonard picks him up. And he gets the bucket. And the Suns lead by four. Well, the quickness on the drive. It is what has defined John Wall's game. That is nicely done. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. The pass to Leonard. And Bull pulls it down. Bull's got four rebounds now tonight. A drive by Beal. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, just terrific recognition by Beal. Saw the lane and drew the contact. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. That free throw, no good. on the second free throw. Bradley Beal entered the NBA as a sweet shooter, but consistent work and improvement has turned this guy into an absolutely lethal threat from everywhere on the floor. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for the Sun. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Back right after this. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Suns? A, a lot of high motor play from them in this one. Uh, allowing them to kind of charge through the defense and find good looks. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight. Really putting the work in down low. So with Westbrook on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. Martin is out there with Ivica Zubas. Then there's Norman Powell. Then it's George, and it's Mann in at the one. Norman Powell with the rise and fire from three-point territory. Pretty delivery. And George gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Here's Beal. And finished off by Beal. And at 7-2, Bowl has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. Here's Mann, covered by Wall. Outside, George. Zubats a screen on Beal. Lock at six. Here's George. And it's the Clippers Paul scoring George. again. Uh, how good is Paul George at getting separation? He uses the screen perfectly and sticks it to the defense. Now here's Gordon. He's coming off a 13-point game against New Orleans. Here's Beal. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right. And wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness. The D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. 
After seven years with Houston, Eric Gordon traded away during the 2023 season. Well, Kev, when you look back at that Houston time period, only James Harden made more threes in that particular uniform. Gordon was one of the keys on those 50-60 win teams. Eric will always have a place in the Rockets' lore. In the corner, it's Gordon. Back to Beal. Bowl setting the pick for Beal. Puts it up from 15. Another shot. All taking his time here. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And coaches have these sayings, Doris. Among them, the ball finds energy. What does that mean? It means, Kevin, that the ball honors basketball players who play the right way. In other words, play hard, try cutting, rebounding, pursuing loose balls. If you're playing with energy, usually the rest takes care of itself. When John Wall has been healthy, this guy has been a consistently solid force with his speed and ability to get downhill. Really incredible awareness. Watanabe's checked in for Gordon, and he sinks the second. Clippers trail by three. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. The shot by George, no good. Look at the last game for the Suns. It was a win against New Orleans. Beal, the pass to Watanabe. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Outside, Wall. Back to Bowl. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. And the Suns lead by five. And you see defenses trying to be physical with Bowl. That time, contact on the shot had no effect. And here is Powell. A 23-point game for him in the win against Cleveland. He was also an excellent setup oh, man as well. This guy was cutting the defense to shreds with incredible passing. Now here's Wall. Guarded close. It's Beal on the wing. Defended by George. Beal the pass to Watanabe. Six on the shot clock. It's over Powell. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Pass to man. Kicks to George. There's the triple. George missing again. Suns lean by three. All with it. Pass to Watanabe. The tray. Paul George grabs the miss. Absolutely tenacious, guys. Stuck right on him defensively. Bothered that shot. The game now all time. Powell's got six in the quarter. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. Passes to Bull. Here's Watanabe. Now Eubanks. Zubats defending. Here's Watanabe. Still yet to score. The offensive rebound. You love the anticipation there. Made sure to box out. Knew where the ball was going and doesn't let anyone impede him from pulling in the glass. Man gets the bucket. Assistant. The passing skills of Paul George are simply impressive. This guy is terrific at realizing when he needs to give it up. And Wall kicks to Beal. For George, and that one is good from Bradley Beal. Beal's got the game tied up here for the Suns. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. From 13, another one falls for the Clippers. You've allowed Paul George to lock in and get his rhythm. Now you better start to stop him. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Phoenix making some changes. Kevin Durant comes in for Eubanks. And it's Devin Booker in for John Wall. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Mason Plumley's checked in for Zubats. Marcus Morris comes in for Martin. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Powell. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for Terrence Mann. No good from Durant. 
and he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Paul George is one of the game's premier two-way wings. He says, I believe in my talent and what I can do, but I feel my job is to make everybody better. That's what I try to do when I'm on the floor. Just make the game easy for everybody, whether it's creating or just being aggressive and making reads off of that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, David lets the game come to him. Well said by him. Thank you. George passes to Leonard. Morris trying to free himself up. Leonard with the bucket. Leonard's got the lead up to six now for Los Angeles. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. KD against Morris. And there's the call on Durant. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Clippers leading by six. And the points coming for them now, Greg and Bunches. And we're seeing what a high-octane offense should look like. Outside, George. He feeds it to Leonard. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. And check out the numbers for Russell Westbrook. How his last ten games have gone. He's averaging 11 points a game, seven assists, and four rebounds. You know, you look at the numbers and you think that this is great, but... We know that he's capable of even bigger production. You know, the numbers look okay, but the eye test tells us unequivocally he is capable of more. That is the sign of a star right there. Now here's Durant. He picked up 30 points in their last win against New Orleans. And it was an unselfish night for him as well. He got plenty of assists to go along with all those points. Clippers with the ball after the Suns pick up two. And Plumley kicks to Leonard. Plumley sets the pick for Leonard. No oh, good on the three. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And Katie throws it down. Yeah, Kevin Durant, you allow him a path to the cup. Look out. George looking around. And Ball sends it back. Out of bounds, Clippers ball as the Clippers keep possession. Now he's checked in for the Clippers. Number 24, Norman Powell. Outside Leonard. A three-pointer is right on target. Leonard's got 15. Uh, Kawhi Leonard pure from the corner. Nice delivery, Kawhi. And Booker kicks the ball. The pass to Watsonabe. I see that time from Leonard. This is a quarter he'd rather forget. This guy just can't seem to get the lid off of that bucket. Westbrook against Booker. Leonard on the wing. Six to shoot. From about 19 feet, it's hauled in by the Suns. Bulls got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Outside for Durant. Back to Beal. Suns moving the ball around. Westbrook against Booker. It's Durant on the wing. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. I'll tell you, he's having his way right now in the second period. Forget the first quarter. Let's get to work. Pass to Plumley. And Leonard has it in the corner. Out to Morris. Let's the three fly. Rebound by the Suns. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. I thought they had a solid game plan coming into that one. And then they made good adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on. And we saw that in their scoring more than anything else. Now here's Paul. He's got six. 
lets it go with a three. That's a bucket. His third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. And they've done a great job knocking down those long-range shots here in the second, shooting just over 40% from downtown. Here's Watanabe. Still without a basket. Now the feed, the bowl. KD is screen on West. Here's Booker. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. They get Russell Westbrook. Yeah, Booker understands how to navigate his way to the paint, and he's not going to shy away from contact. Nicely done to pick up the foul. Free throw, good Booker. And the Suns making a change here. Aiton's checked in. Good on both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the strike right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Powell against Beal. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. A three-pointer off the mark. So Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. They trail by one. Aiton in the high post. Pass to Watsonabe. Outside Beal. Eight in the screen. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Beal's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, Bradley Beal works so hard to find the opportunities on the offensive end. He knows he's responsible for to carry the load. These are the top distributors of the basketball for the last ten games as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Fourth, Devin Booker. And those games have seen him dropping more dimes than you might have thought possible. There's 126 left to play in the first half. Westbrook surveying the D. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Feeds to Beal. KD on the wing. Booker outside. Dunk by Booker. Booker. A little athletic ability on display by D. Book. 54 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Westbrook kicks to Plumlee. Back to Westbrook. Passes it to Pop. Morris with a screen on Beal. Powell inside. He's covered by Beal. Beal with the block. How about the anticipation from Bradley Beal? Wow, what a block. And finished off by Beal. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Clippers trail by five. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Booker against Westbrook. They need this. And no good on the last second attempt this time. Well, smart defender. Booker can anticipate and use his good balance movement to get in position. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for the Phoenix Suns. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David, thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Welcome, everybody. The story tonight has been a solid showing through the first half for the Phoenix Suns. You look at their shot chart, what stands out to me is all the activity inside. They've been the aggressor. It's straight up bully ball. And they have the horses to pull it off. Okay, time to shift focus. Looking at some games coming up later on tonight. 
It'll be the Golden State Warriors up against the Lakers out in Los Angeles. Tip-off is 10 Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Contested game. Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. The big three for the Suns all on the floor. Booker and Beal as the guards, and KD at the four. Then there's Eaton. And it's Watsonabe in at the three, the small forward. Who's out there for Phoenix? Outside for Durant. To the inside. Leonard with the steal. One on one fast break. And Morris throws it down. Morris Senior. Mr. Morris Assistant leaves no Bob. doubt. Paul George. Suns lead by three. Beal deciding where to go with it. The pass to Book over Westbrook. Outside Beal to the middle. Here's Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. You can see the level of attention Bradley Beal draws. This guy is so heady finding the open teammate. Now Leonard. He's got 15. Plumley the pass to Morris. Here's Leonard. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on eight. Because Kawhi Leonard has such a well-rounded offensive game, it's easy for him to put the defense in a bad position, draws contact there. A free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. It's both from the strike. Kawhi is known as a low-key guy, but don't let that fool you. He's as competitively tough as they come. Booker the pass to Durant. Outside Beal. Back to KD. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. 16 points for KD. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Westbrook against Booker. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Plumley. A second chance effort. He takes it up and lays it in. Plumley's got his second bucket of the night. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. And a chance here to take a look at the numbers for Leonard. Averaging about 16 points, four rebounds, and three assists. And you talk about defensive presence, he's the real difference maker on that end. Yeah, he's always somewhere around the ball, finding ways to help his team by shutting down the opponents. Plumley in the high post at the elbow Westbrook. This is to George. Back to Westbrook for the tie. Beal pulls it in. Sun clean by three. Booker left side. Inside. Here's Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. Yeah, Booker keeping that defense off balance with his passing ability right there. Here's George. 12 points for him. From past the arc, gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. 
And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam. You can see some muscle, some urgency from him there. Sure. George with the bounce pass. And it's slammed in by Plumley. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Watsonabe passes to Bia. Booker looking around to the paint. No good from Durant. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Outside Westbrook to the middle. And it's George finishing it off. Well, the defense always so attentive to Russ. And he knows, okay, you're going to send defensive attention my way. I will find an open teammate. Booker the pass to Watsonabe. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got his fourth assist in this one. Westbrook against Booker. Near the three-point line, it's Morris. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Outside, KD. to Booker. Durant kicks to Booker. And it's good with time running down in the shot clock. And now a five-point Phoenix lead. Westbrook against Booker. Takes a three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Aiton's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Booker outside. Pass to KD. Phoenix needs to get off his shot. Count it. You watch it up. He's got the lead up to seven now for the Suns. Boy, how about a quick decision making with KD? What a fabulous job he does sifting through the defense and putting the pass on target. Norman Wells checked in for more. We have a moment here to see the numbers Norman. for Beal. And with a top 20 ranking and field goal percentage, you put the ball in his hands and he converts at a remarkable rate. And back to your point, he's second in three-point accuracy. A lot of that has to do with mental toughness. It's just hard to force him out of his comfort zone. George, that's a two-pointer. The good-looking shot from the wing. George has got seven points for the quarter. Just doing what he can. He's competing and he's converting. And he has really kept them in this one. The high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Clippers. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Russell Thanks, Westbrook. Kevin. The Clippers in recent years have become one of the better defensive teams in the league. Now, Coach Ty Lue said it's tough because everybody on the floor now is a decent three-point shooter. So you got to pick your poison. It's different than when Oxford started. The game is changing every year. So you've got to be able to adapt to the times. Kevin? All right. Thank you, David. That's a screen for Westbrook. In the corner, George with it. Banked in off the glass. George has got nine points now in just the second half. He has not missed a shot in this quarter. They've tried running different things in him, but he's been unstoppable. Aiton a screen on Leonard. And Katie, here we go. And it's Aiton missing. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Third personal foul. Oh, we're in this quick break, and out of the small forward position, and the hottest shooters among them over the last month. Fifth best, Kawhi Leonard. And, and that is such an efficient group offensively. That really is the best way to describe them. I mean, they never force anything and always wait for the right shot. 
You know, in addition to that patience and efficiency, they're each extremely talented natural scorers. They've got the kind of precise form all young players would do well to replicate. John Walls checked in for the Suns. And both free throws good for Beal. Clippers trail by five. And here's Westbrook. Scoreless thus far. And the shot is good. And now this game is taking on a whole Russell new field Westbrook. since halftime. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these teams. And a few seasons ago, Norman Powell was hopping around the NBA from team to team. You know, remarkably, Kevin, though his locker and location may have been changing, his play was consistent through that stretch and beyond. Here's a player who you know his game, and he can deliver scoring punch wherever he is. When Kevin Durant near impossible to guard in the pick and roll. In that instance, the quick cut off the screen, so pretty. Los Angeles has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. A three from Leonard, and that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got assist number eight now on the night. A drive by Booker. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Booker's got 16 points. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And the Clippers call time here. It's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. You've got to take a timeout, take a breath, and come up with a plan for how to stop this guy. Zubac is checked in for Los Angeles. Martin comes in for George. Here's Westbrook. Now trying to free himself up. In chance shot. Westbrook, no good. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Right side, Beal. Back to KD. Good. Now it's a six-point Phoenix lead. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. It's Powell on the wing. He feeds it to Leonard. Over Aiton. The kick out to Westbrook. Outside Leonard. Fires the three. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Booker dishes to Aiton. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got assist number five here tonight. Martin with a screen on wall. Passes to Martin. Zubats with it. Covered by eight. Yeah, you've seen Kawhi evolve as a facilitator over the last several years. Love to see him setting up his teammates. Suns leading by six. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You too. That's a jump ball. Here's KD. And the pass to Wall. Powell against Booker. Shot clock at six. And then Durant with the jam. Just understands how to find the open spots on the floor. His scoring line proof of him getting to the efficiency we always look to. Clippers trail by eight. Leonard inside. KD's on him. And Leonard gets it to go. Leonard's got 24. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. Eubanks, he's checked in for Phoenix. Cole comes in for Kevin Durant. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Mann's checked in. Suns lean by six. In the corner, Bull with it. For three, 
And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Wall has got his second bucket tonight. Now John Wall has an incredibly high basketball IQ, so you find the shooter and get it into their hands. Man passes through Leonard. Over Bull. And the Clippers get it. Another bucket right there. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. They set the pick from 11 feet away. Booker, no good. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. 54 seconds left here in the third quarter. Man passes to Leonard. There's the three. Eubanks grabs the miss. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Deal with it. Leonard picks him up. And Wall kicks to Booker. Outside Beal. Bull. He gets that one. Bull's got seven. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. And it's Leonard missing. Phoenix leading by nine. I always like to hold for the last shot right here. Well, that's great execution if you can do that because it takes any chance of momentum away from your opponent. Nine feet out. They tee that time from Leonard from deep three-point territory. And the last second attempt does not go in for it. And so it's the Phoenix Suns. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Their defense has been very effective in locking down Russell Westbrook. We've got more in store for you right after this. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. This is always for joining us. Here's Booker. So with Westbrook on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. They've got Paul George. Roman Powell's out there with Martin. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's man in at the one spot. Yeah, the thing about Booker, not necessarily the quickest twitch athlete. He uses that smooth handle to gain separation. George with the ball. Now Bull defending. And the dunk by Zubac. Yo, know, he's been giving them points, but they still can't seem to get over the hump tonight. At the top of the key, Eubanks. And here's Wall outside. And that's a foul called on Bull Bull. That's his first foul. Clippers trail by nine. Here's Mann. It's George on the wing. Shot clock at five. Tries it from 19. It's hauled in by the Suns. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Booker finds Wall. Here is Eubanks. Good ball movement here by the Suns. in the boat. Defended by George. Counted good. And the Suns lead by 11. What you love about this young guard, Devin Booker, is his ability to hurt you with both his passing and his shooting. Pass to Powell. Free throw line jump shot. Two points. That one goes. Looked like some confusion defensively that time. Left him wide open for a nice look on the jumper. Here's Wall. He's covered closely. Watsonabe, no good. 
And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. And it's Martin penetrating. Yeah, easy call. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Sun. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. And they're really looking to just make that extra pass. The other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. Los Angeles making a switch here. Westbrook's checked in. And both free throws good for Mark. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. To the inside. That's tipped. Howell with the steal. Here's George. And Ball sends it back. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. Here's Watanabe. And again, it's the Suns missing. Clippers trail by seven. Outside Westbrook. Pass to George. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Hooker the pass to Wall. Knocked away. Paul George with the steal. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Driving inside. I mean, maybe he could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. And it's the Clippers with the ball. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Powell with it. Bank shot, no good. Suns leading by six. Down low, stolen by Mark. And here we go. Fast play. Powell's got it. Still looking for his first triple of the half. He had three at the break. And Wall slams it home. It seems to be the new breed of point guards who can play above the rim. Wall finishing with style. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. And here is Los Angeles now. On the wing, George. Defended by Booker. Yep, that one goes in there. George has got 14 points here in the second half. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. Bull kicks to Booker. Bull setting the pick for Booker. Back to Bull. And the dunk by Bull. Just too easy for Ball. Once he gets the right position, his focus there is on the finish. Clippers trail by eight. Outside Westbrook. Fires from deep. Phoenix grabs the miss. Ball's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. Booker outside. The kick out to Wall. Off target from outside. And so Powell will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And it's Martin missing. Booker against George. Eubanks the pass to Booker. Outside, Wall. Into the lane, out of bounds, the Clippers, Clippers take ball. possession. So for the Suns, Andre Ayton's checked in for Eubanks. Kevin Durant comes in for Bowl, and Beals subbed in for Booker. Mason Plumley's checked in for Los Angeles. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Martin. Clippers trail by eight. Now here's Leonard. Inside. From the arc. 
Rebounded by DeAndre. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Here's Watanabe. That's good. A nice assist from Durant. Durant's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Outside Westbrook. From downtown. Kept alive. Short. And Plumley kicks to Powell. Beyond the arc. Connects from three-point range. Powell's got five points now this quarter. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Ball passes to Watsonabe. Outside, Beal to the inside. Stolen by George. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles in the dunk by Powell. Well, the length of Paul George Paul creating George. opportunities for his team. He covers an awful Phoenix. lot of ground with that wingspan. Phoenix calls timeout. Booker, he's checked in for one snobby. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Morris is checked in for Norman Powell. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break. Now he wants his team to stop playing it safe. He said, we've got this lead by doing what we do. And we can keep it if we don't get too cautious. Play our game. Kevin? Okay, David, much appreciated. Beal gets a wide open look. And the three ball is good. Beal's got 23. And that's money from Beal. He's so crafty at finding space in that deep corner. Westbrook passes to George. And he converts the late one. That's 28 points for Paul George. I'll tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. This is a to Aiton. Ice ball movement by Phoenix. Here's KD. And he banks in the lane. Durant's got 12 points in just the second half. Where Kevin Durant has really grown is manipulating pick and roll, making the right read, and this guy just adapts and adjusts so quickly. And there's the call on Durant. And that'll be his third foul so far. You know what? Second Trying to foul. step in and cut him off, but just Clippers didn't get there quick enough. For the Clippers, Ivica Zubac has checked in for Mason Plumley. Man subbed in for Russell Westbrook. against Beal. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Second first and they're scoring both of buckets. It's raining buckets at the line from inside. Kawhi Leonard at the line for one. Free throw drops for Leonard. Suns lean by six. And there's Beal. That's good on the assist by Booker. 25 points from Bradley Beal. Well, Bradley Beal has become such a good playmaker. Finishing through contact, that is beautiful. And there's the pass to Leonard. Rebound by the Suns. Aiton's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. And Booker kicks to KD. Aiton dishes to Beal. Duran against Morris. And then Durant with the dunk. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Here's George. Zubac, a screen on Booker. From T, George hangs home the trifecta. George has got 10 points in the quarter. Uh, Paul George's shooting form is just so pretty. This guy's ability to make shots so easy. Aiton sets the pick for Booker. Outside for Beal. A three ball. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And a deep three from George. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Booker inside, defended by George. Pass to Wall. They get a hand on it. 
And now the Clippers on the break. And here's Morris for three. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Count that one. AD's got 16 here in the second half. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Zubon's a screen on wall. Pass to George. Flanked it by the D. Fights to the rim for the layup. George has got 33. Great quarter for him at the offensive end. Trying to fill his team back in the game. Watsonabe's checked in for the Suns. And the Suns call time here. Suns lean by seven. And Booker kicks to Beal. Booker the pass to Beal. Back to Booker. Six to shoot. To the middle. Here's Aiden. And Aiden throws it down. That gives him the double-double. Ten points and 20 rebounds. Boy, look at how natural DeAndre Ayton looks in the pick-and-roll. This guy is smart. He understands how to navigate. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Zubats with the screen for Leonard. Pass to George. Fades back. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Watsonabe passes to Beal. Booker outside. Durant finds Aiton. Booker outside. Aiton a screen. To the paint. Outside for Beal. Three-pointer. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Zubats has got eight rebounds in this game. George with the bucket. Paul George just so fluid offensively. What a pretty move right there. They can take their time on this possession. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea just give themselves a little bit of a break. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And here's George for three. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. Phoenix leading by nine. The pass to Watsonabe. No good on the triple. The Clippers shooting 43% from the field. Here's Leonard, and it's Leonard with the jam. Well, speed, intelligence, touch. Kawhi Leonard has it all. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. This is the very definition of desperation time. You've got to score every trip. Katie against Morris. There's Beal with the three. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. And the Clippers call time here. They're behind by eight. 41 seconds left in the game. Forty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter. Morris finds George. Pulls up. High post. Nice jump shot. Good. George has got 37. You can see Paul George is locked in right now. Big time shots to demonstrate his elite level in the NBA. First team foul. And an intentional foul right there. Paul George, fifth personal foul, second team foul. At the line, the New York Times, Bradley O'Keefe, two shots. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Free throws here. So now it's an eight point game. 32 seconds left to play here in the fourth. George against Beal. Pass to Maine. Gets it out to Leonard. Fires for three. Yes! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Absolutely no fear. Kawhi Leonard welcomes these moments. He relishes these moments. 
Some break for him there. But they have a tough time coming back from this deficit, no matter who's on the court. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good. It's a seven-point game. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. And the Clippers call time here. They're down by seven. 17 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Entered on the wing. Money! You see Kawhi able to follow through with his shot despite the contact. So tough. And they go to the intentional foul. They have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. At the line for your sons, Devin Booker. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. Second one is good. Bring both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. You love that Devin Booker now has experienced postseason success because there were some who questioned his greatness. Now that conversation is over. So the Suns win it probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the Suns. Much appreciated, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.